Hello again, everybody. It's me, Marcus, and I review stuff. Today, I'm reviewing the song uh, Gutter Girl by Hot Flash Heat Wave. Uh, very excited for this one. Never heard anything from this band before. So, uh, going in blind. And with that, this does come as a request. So, as always, if you would like to request something, leave it in the comments. I'll be sure to get to it. All right, let's listen. This is Gutter Girl, Hot Flash Heat Wave. And go. Yeah, man, I like that a whole lot. <clears throat> it really had this sort of classic sound to it while still sounding fresh and new. I thought that was really, really cool. Um, <clears throat> just really enjoyed the bass work, the guitars, the drums. Just overall, it was a really fun song to listen to. Uh, again, very retro vibe that I really dug. Um, and uh, just a lot of great things to say about this one. So let's break it down like we always do. Of course, starting with the lyrics. So let me pull up the lyrics here. Um, here we go. Never heard anything from this band before. I'm, I'm wondering if this is kind of um, representative of their style, because if it is, I would love to hear more from this band. 
But um, verse 1, I couldn't hang, hang with that same old crowd, couldn't stay home and make my mama proud. I got no money, but I think it's funny how I don't need nothing except for my gutter girl. So, uh, you know, maybe they were, they kind of fell in with the wrong crowd for a while. Um, but, you know, just uh, couldn't really run with them anymore um, and didn't want to just stay home and not have crazy weird friends, right? So at the end of the day, that he says that he doesn't need anything except for his gutter girl. Now, when I think of a gutter girl, I don't think of a particularly like lovely person. You know, a gutter is not uh, widely regarded as a good place to be. Uh, so I, I'm wondering about the meaning on that word, the context of it. Is it, is she the gutter girl because like she sticks with him even when he's in the gutter, or does he recognize that she's kind of garbage, uh, but loves her anyway? I wonder what the connotation is there. So. Um, all in my mind, she's in my head. I know she's my gutter girl. Forget what they say. I'm here to stay here with my gutter girl. Uh, don't you know you're my gutter girl? Don't you know you're my gutter? Go roller coaster. Yeah, she took me up and down. She's making me ill, but I can't turn her down. We got no money, but I think it's funny how I don't need nothing except for my gutter girl. So, uh, to me, it's like she's a roller coaster, right? She like there's highs and lows. You know, there's great moments with her but there's also some terrible moments with her but at the end of the day he doesn't care you know he's he's kind of with her through thick and thin all on my mind she's in my head i know she's my gutter girl forget what they say i'm here to stay here with my gutter girl don't you know you're my gutter gutter girl don't you know you're in my gutter so yeah i thought it was great uh the lyricism i feel like really added to that retro feel you know there's so many classic bops of like uh you know being in love with a girl and, and talking about your girl and talking about what she means to you so to me this fell in line with it but kind of put a new more modern twist on it so i really like that about the song i give it two thumbs up lyrically um instrumentally a lot of great things to appreciate here some great bass work throughout but you really got a nice moment there towards the end uh, where the bass really had a chance to come out and shine uh, really great guitar work as well. Again, gave it a really retro feel while still feeling fresh and new. And then the drum work was was fantastic as well. Uh, to me, the singer's voice provided a whole lot. He sort of had this um, modern punk rock sort of voice. You know, actually, I, w I wouldn't even really call it punk rock too much uh, because it, to me, it, it, like it, it gave it a more punk edge to a more classic sound, if that makes sense. Uh, but I really loved it. I loved what he did in the song uh, vocally. So vocally, instrumentally, two thumbs up. Then as far as the replay value goes, look, this one, I want it on my playlist. It was just an easy listen, a fun time, really great instrumentation, fun lyrics, great singing, great vocals from the, from the singer. So I just had a great time with it. You know, I, I don't know what else to say. I mean, other than just it was a fun listen. Uh, it, it reminded me of like a classic almost 50s bop, but again, with like a new modern uh, twist and take on it. So I thought that was really cool as well. So overall, I got to give it two thumbs up across the board. Really enjoyed this one. So thank you. Uh, for whoever requested this one, uh, give me more from this band. Like I said, if this is representative of their style, I feel like uh, I could really appreciate a lot of their work. So definitely let me know. Uh, leave the comments. Leave it in the comments. Leave your suggestions. Um, if you enjoyed the music, go support the artist. Go listen to their music wherever you can. One place you can definitely find some more hot wave, uh, hot flash heat wave is going to be in my Spotify playlist. It's in the description below. It has every single song I've heard so far on my channel. If you want to support me, just all the normal stuff you do on YouTube. You know, like and subscribe and comment. All right, that's it for me. Hope you're staying safe and healthy. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye for now.